one mole of um, this is 2004 um, AP physics B exam um, one mole of an ideal gas is initially at pressure P1 so it is at pressure P1 and V1 and temperature T1 represented by the point A on the PV diagram above the gas is taken around the cycle of A B C and back to A process AB is isobaric so process IB AB is isobaric Process BC is isochoric or isovolumetric. So this one is isovolumetric. And the process um, CA is isothermal. Temperature doesn't change. So in this case, delta P, delta P is equal, in this case, delta P is equal to zero. In this case, delta V is equal to zero not volume change in this case delta t is equal to zero calculate the temperature t2 at the end of process a b in terms of temperature t1 so because it's constant pressure so for a because it is constant pressure i have p1 v1 over t1 is equal to P2 V2 T2 and because the pressure is the same for A and B I can cancel my um, so this is your A part I can cancel uh, P V1 is V1 and T1 is given um, V2 is one half of V1 so it's V1 over 2 and I'm looking for T2 so V1, V1 can be cancelled. So T2 is equal to T1 over 2. For B part, B, going from B, C, um, your volume stays the same so i can say p2 or p1 right at that point it's p1 over t2 and the volume doesn't change so i'm just not gonna even write the volume the volume is going to be cancelled anyway is equal to p2 and um T3 or C. And this one is T2, right? This is, so at this point, at point B, we have, at point B, we have P1 and we just found T2. So it's P1 over T2 is equal to uh, P2, the pressure at C over T3. And your T3 at C your T3 at C is actually T1. Um, it's the same temperature. This is T1. So when uh, the temperature at A is T1, so I can just erase this one and write T1. And then your T2 we just found. So you have P1 over T2. Um, here is T2. It's T1 over 2 and equals to P2 over t1 um, t1 and t1 can be cancelled and that gives you um, p2 is equal to twice p1 for c part uh, let me change the colors for c part no let's do it this way for c part um Calculate the network done on the gas when it's taken from point A to point B to point C. So the work from B to C is equal to zero because the volume doesn't change and the work is equal to, so the formula of the work is equal to um, pressure change of the volume. So if the volume doesn't change, there's no work is done. 
Um, so the work from B to C, B to C will be equal to zero because the volume doesn't change. And the work um, from A to B is positive on the gas, negative on the environment, positive on the gas, and equals to the pressure P1 and change of the volume. So it went from V1 to half of V1, so that's one half of V1. So the work done on AB is positive P1, so let's do one half, P1, V1. Let me rewrite it a little bit. It's positive one half P1, V1. So that would be for part C. In part D, they ask you indicate below all the processes that result in heat being added into the gas. So I need to look where the heat was added into the gas. Um, from So this will be my D. So I'm going to look from A to B. From A to B, um, your work is positive. is positive one half p1 v1 and um, so your work is one half positive one half p1 v1 but the temperature drops so temperature at b is one half of t1 so if the work is done positive, but the temperature drops, um, the delta U, internal gas, internal energy of the gas, is negative. The formula for um, delta U is equal to Q um, minus W. So the work done on the gas. And the work done on the gas in this case is uh, negative, which is actually positive, increases the heat. So when we go from the higher volume to the lower volume, it's a positive work done on the gas, negative work on the environment. But usually when we plug in on internal talking about internal energy of the gas um, this one is on the gas so final volume so in this PV formula your final volume is going to be negative because it's smaller if you plug it in it gives you a positive work right here so you have a positive work that we found positive work but the negative sign originally is there in the formula and internal energy drops, right? And internal energy drops. So if um, if internal energy drops in the work, if we plug in is positive, then this one must be taken out of the gas. So that means you must have a negative Q on A B on the uh, on the cycle from A to B. Because if this gives you, if this changes to positive number, but internal energy drops down, then you must be taking heat out of the system. From um, B to C, your work is equal to zero because the volume doesn't change. So if I look again at, um, at the formula where, let me write it right here. So again, your delta U is equal to heat added to the gas, the work done on the gas. So if I look at that formula, the work is equal to zero because the volume did not change. Your internal energy is equal to Q, but the temperature from B to C, the temperature from B, um, to C rises. 
from here we can see that the temperature at B was T2. Temperature at B was T2. And the temperature at C is T1. So that is T1. And temperature right here is T2. And this is still T1. And this is still T1. Because it doesn't change from C to, to A. So if the temperature does rise from one half of T1, one half of T1 to T1, then internal energy is rising. And in order for it to rise, you must be adding heat into the system on BC. So this was AB. This is BC. And then the last part is CA. Um, so for CA, oops, I just covered this part so I can write on top of it. So I need my gray color. So for CA, I have isothermal process. So for isothermal process, delta T is equal to zero. Temperature doesn't change. That means delta U is equal to zero. So if delta U is equal to zero, again, I'm going to be using this formula that I'm looking for. Um, then I have my... Um, the work, so you have zero is equal to Q minus delta minus the work done on the gas. And the work done on the gas from C to A is going to be negative because again, um, from this formula, the volume is expand, expanding. Because the volume is expanding, um, the work is going to be here a positive and then that negative keeps it negative. So the work is negative on, then on the gas uh, when the gas is expanding. Then I have um, Q is equal to the work done on the gas. And in other words, when you expand the gas and the volume is increasing, so when the volume is increasing, change of the volume, right? So the final volume is bigger than the initial volume. So you have the final volume is bigger than the initial volume. So the delta V is a um, positive number. And you keep in change of the temperature constant or zero, then you know that Q must be added into the system to keep energy non-changed um, of inter the internal energy of the gas not changed.